Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to show you my code to train uh, a neural network using uh, batches. Okay. So let me first explain the, the idea. Now, of course, if you come to this video, I guess you are familiar with the idea of neural networks. Okay. Uh, where you have some some inputs and then you go through a hidden uh, layer of uh, neurons and then you get a, a, an output. Of course, you may have uh, many many hidden layers but we here stick to a one uh, hidden layer okay for simplest and um, of course you know you you have to uh, minimize uh, your error put uh, biases and weights and, and so on okay so i guess you understand the the, the main concept of, of uh, a neural network now the problem is sometimes you have huge data uh, huge data right you have a lot of samples you have a lot of numbers and Whenever you try to push all this data in, in one part, uh, either you have your whole BC just crash or stop working or just uh, become very, very slow. So you can't even like turn, turn the mouse or something like that. So it becomes like really freeze, okay? Uh, or maybe you get an error, uh, okay, out of MATLAB that you have exceeded, exceeded the, the maximum uh, memory, okay? Which means that your data is so huge, so when, when MATLAB tries to make it in a matrix, it becomes even bigger, so it just uh, blocks your, your, uh, your memory, okay? It fills uh, your memory. So, in this code, I try to uh, solve the problem by using the idea of patches, which means that you divide your data into patches of examples, and you train the the neural network, okay, in successive iterations, okay, you take it in, in uh, a patch by patch, and each one gets you closer to the answer, gets you closer to the correct uh, uh, biases and weights, of course. So, it's just the same as uh, doing doing it uh, at once, uh, actually, even uh, doing it at once uh, is faster, okay, uh, doing it in batches is a little bit slower, but there is uh, in the case of huge data there is not uh, another solution there is just you have to you have to do this okay because uh, doing it at once is just not possible because you don't have enough uh, okay memory so you just have to do it uh, like this code okay in batches so let's let's first see what is the input and then see the parameters then we will try the code okay so first the input is a data.mat file so what you have to do with your data is that putting it in this mat file okay so uh, what i did is that i did uh, i put all my data okay as a matrix and saved it in this uh, data matrix okay in this file okay it's it's simple you can just read it from anything and then uh, save it from a text or whatever and then save it uh, each row in this matrix is uh, an example, a sample, okay? Uh, some people call it sample, uh, uh, an example, some people call it a study case, whatever. So each row is one, uh, let's call it sample, and each column is a feature, okay? Except the last column, which is the output. So again, each row is a sample, and uh, as you read the row, you read the features, okay, in each column, and the last column is the output of the neural network. So actually, the input is, is uh, all the values except the, the, the last one. And what you expect to get out of the neural network is the last uh, value. Okay? This is your data. Now put it in this way, put it in this map, and that's it. You can run the code and it will read it uh, uh, directly. Okay? You can see here it is it's loading the data and, and use it. Okay? Just put it in this uh, format. Okay. Uh, now you have some parameters, so this is a batch, this is how much you want each batch to be. Uh, you put it in percentage, so here I say that each batch is 10%, so it's like we divide the, the data 10 times, okay? We divide the data to 10 uh, parts, each one is uh, 10%, okay? And you set the number of, of neurons in the hidden network, okay? It will be 10. Here you see it is 184. Uh, the number of columns, of, of course, we remove one because it is output, so it becomes an input of uh, 183 uh, 
okay, feature, 183 uh, neuron, okay, at the first layer, the input layer. Add the hidden, it is 10, and add the output, it is 1, okay? Okay. Now, we get to this one, this is very important, it is the maximum number of uh, epochs, or, or what we call uh, epoch is, is the one iteration, okay, in training. So, uh, 100, this is the maximum number of iteration of the whole process, not one patch, again. So I will write here a comment, okay, whole process, not uh, not one patch, okay. So so you don't have to care about uh, the uh, the number of patches and then you calculate each patch and then no, just put the maximum number of, of epochs for the whole process, okay, not only one patch. And the code just uh, calculate itself and and. Uh, Manipulate the training at each patch in order to maintain this uh, this number. Okay, okay. So let's uh, try running it and see what we get out. Okay. So now it it uh, reads the data, and then we will yes, and we will start seeing training. Okay. So of course it will take some time because as we said we have. We make it at in iterations. Of course, uh, this is the only solution we have. So here, here is the first uh, batch, okay, and it is training the network. And here you can see the structure of the network. Okay, you have the input of, as I said, uh, removing the output. It will be 138, and here is the output one, and you have 10 hidden units. Okay. Now it. You can see that it is doing iterations. Okay, you can see now it is in the second batch, and uh, you will see that it finishes here training, and then yes, validation, and then it goes again to another batch. So, so you can see that it is working in batches. Uh, of course, you can see that the data is 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 very very big, right? I have like uh, around fifty thousand, fifty thousand uh, sample. Of course, this is huge. When you think about the the number of neurons and then, then you make a matrix, it becomes incomplete. It actually makes my uh, laptop uh, stop uh, completely. Okay, it it, it frees uh, the the laptop. So this is this is like the only solution, and it gives you really good results. So if you can wait a little bit, this will be uh, very good in case you have uh, big data. Okay. Uh. I guess it is now in iter in uh, seven. I guess uh, sorry in patch seven. So we'll keep keep doing this until uh, we finish all the data, and we are sure that we have used a hundred percent of all the data, all of the uh, forty nine thousand eight hundred forty four examples. Okay, so we haven't left anything uh, anything out. At the end, we will see that uh, it calculates what is known as the R squared parameter. Of course, you should know this one. Uh, it it uh, shows you how good the fitting is for the uh, neural network model with the data. Okay, uh, I guess you already know what it means. It's better as it goes uh, closer to one. Okay, so we will see that the R two or the R squared parameter is is uh, getting closer and closer to one. As the process go goes on, so that means that we are, we are going in the, the the correct direction. The function is becoming more and more uh, better fitting to to the data. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is the last batch. Okay. So when it finishes, we will see the plot of uh, the R squared parameter. Okay, and we will see. The, the the total number of, of epochs, okay, of uh, iterations. And you can see here that the number here is not uh, quite large, right? You can see that it goes uh, to like 4, 5, 6. So what you set at the beginning of the code, the 100, is just the maximum for the whole process, okay? You can see that it stops uh, before, uh, okay, the 100, of course, because we are talking about the whole process, but what you see here is only one batch. Okay, so it finishes.
and here you see the final structure of our network okay with an input I see the huge input uh, 10 neural networks hidden neural network uh, neural uh, neurons and you have uh, one out okay so the total number is just 75 we set it to 100 but it didn't reach the, the maximum it just got to 75 and you can here see the parameter of uh, the R school okay of course this is as a function of the number of, uh, of habits okay so uh, okay this is I should make this the batch okay the number of batch I will correct it. So here you can see that it is going okay here here and it's going up okay and at the end you can see that the R squared is going to a very good value of 0.91 so that that's good that means that the data is fitting good to the to the to the number. okay so let's correct this final yes let's make it uh, okay the batch this is the number of the patch okay uh, and as we go more and more in the patch we get a better r square okay so let's see it now okay so let's uh, yep okay here, here you go so you can see that uh, as you go more and more in patches okay you get uh, to the a better a better r squared so it is a better uh, fitted clip okay so i hope you like uh, uh, this video and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you want the code you will find it uh, in the description thank you very, uh, very much for watching